doing sumo, sumo pulls today with my uh, Rhino HD uh, flex bar. I'm using uh, 160 pounds of chain and 500 on the bar. I got new bumper plates, so I'm using them. I kind of like them. They kind of keep the, the shock of the bar down. I'm also using uh, deadlift deadeners. They kind of help to uh, not only quiet the noise and stuff, but they also uh, keep your form kind of decent because they uh, you, you want the bar to travel in a straight line. Otherwise, you'll you'll get hit in the shins and kind of beats the hell out of you. So I encourage you to keep the bar running uh, straight up and down like it's supposed to when you deadlift. I'm also using uh, Chris Duffin straps there. They're really a nice strap if you want straps. Here I went to just the regular, uh, I have a nickel plated uh, power bar from Kabuki. And I'm using that just for a regular deadlift. So built up just, just 475, or just regular off the floor with uh, 80 inch chain. Here, uh, just for the hell of it, I got a whole bunch of new chains. So I just uh, wanted to lift it all. I had uh, 400 pounds of chain on there and just uh, 245. Next week I'll probably go a lot heavier. That's kind of. Ridiculously light, but it, it, it felt good. I like all the chain on there. It's really a different loading pattern. Here I've got uh, a the new, uh, it's kind of a prototype. It's a 96 inch uh, Rhino uh, Super Flex bar. I like it so far. I haven't really used it for a whole lot, just for uh, like rack pulls and stuff. I plan to use it for uh, sumo pulls here in the, new fu in the near uh, future. And I also have uh, new blocks that I just made. They're really uh, super high. I like them. I'll keep a bar set up on that all the time from now on. It's just nice to have all that stuff ready to go. And now here I'm uh, finishing up with the uh, reverse hypers, and uh, that was pretty much it. I did a lot of volume, but I didn't show it all.